to Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side, yes! Listen, we might not have a university degree, we might not have won an Olympic gold medal or got an MBE, but we have got our 50 metre breaststroke badge sewn on our trunks tonight. Aww. Yes, we have. See, we've earned our stripes. We really have on this show. Uh, well, let's see who's gracing our panel tonight. My first guest has the golden locks of a princess and the mind of an ice queen. Uh, she went into the house of girl and she came out a woman. It's this year's runner up, Ashley Kyle. <laughs> Nice little bit of fluorescent. Uh, next up is my very own apprentice. I've pretty much showed her the ropes this series and it's our last Monday ticket. Aww. Aww. Don't worry, don't worry. We ain't got the blues. We're good, we're good. I am, babe. I am, I am, I am. Give it up for Louisa. <laughs> oh, my little dippy number. Don't you doubt. Uh, now, unlike the rest of us, my final guest has never set foot inside the Big Brother house, but that's not to say she's never been on a roller coaster of emotions. We all know what judges' asses is like, don't we? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> she's got a new single out as well. It's Amelia Lily. <laughs> right, judges so seen, the housemates have spoken, and those facing eviction are. Oh, we have them! Yes! <laughs> My little dance, because they're all up. Uh, right, they're all up for the chalk. Did you like that? Chalk, I'm going to give you a mic. She's like, what'd she say? <laughs> she don't, she don't even know what's going on. Um, Ash, what's it like when everyone's up so close um, to the final? I think it's probably less stressful. Well, I find it less stressful. <laughs> I don't know why everybody else find it. Um, I think, like, it feels a lot... Yeah, a lot less stressful with everybody being up because you don't feel like there's so much pressure just on yourself and being that close to, like, obviously when there's fewer people up, you're yeah. more worried, you have more of a chance of going, obviously. Cool. Um, when everyone's up, you're kind of hoping there's somebody more hated than you. Well, what there. we're going <laughs> to there is eight of them up, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at four housemates now and then four more a bit later on because of time. Uh, so let's start with Dee. She received one nomination from Audley for being too hard on Gary. Uh, now, Amelia, we saw him clash again in tonight's show. We did. Is Audley right? Uh, do you know what? If I walked into the house and seen a 17 year old man's bits, I wouldn't be over the moon. So I don't know. Like, it's a little bit disgusting, but I, I, I don't really know who's in the right, to be honest. I kind mm. of I am a little bit on D's side, but, you know, Gary. You know, he's, you can't change the way you are. I mean, so. let's be fair, he is always getting him out, isn't he? <laughs> Remember the shower? <laughs> <laughs> but he's entertaining. He loved it. He's entertaining and he's, he's making us all watch it every night. So, it's true. Yeah. It's true. But do you know what, Lulu? It's the first time Dee's been up. How do you yeah. think she's going to cope? Um, I think she's going to think she's all right, actually, and I think that she is all right. So we may see her... She might feel a little bit, oh, I'm not as famous as the others. Or she yeah. might think that. Mm. So perhaps... She'll be worried, but I don't think she will. I think she knows there's people in there that are more likely to go over her. Yeah? Yeah. Listen, let's move on to Gary. Uh, for the first time this series, he didn't receive the most nominations. Like, it's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. Uh, but he has still managed to be the least popular person in the house tonight. Uh, Lulu, things started going a bit downhill when he went commando in the kitchen. Everything went down. <laughs> Everything went down. He's 70. He's 70 years old. <laughs> Should he know better? I, think I know people are saying, you know, he's It not... really made me laugh. I just thought it was... <laughs> Can I just say, I, I hate to say this, I know it's, it's a bit out of order, but my funniest line of the whole series is, is Big Brother going, it's been 17 minutes since so Gary, Gary exposed, exposed him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, hello. It's just, it's, uh, it made me laugh. Dee obviously was offended. And most, I suppose, the majority of people would be offended. But it's just kind of endearing, isn't it? He just it is, doesn't yeah. really know what's going on. He reminds me of, like, a little flasher. Like, he needs a Mac. <laughs> he is not flashing people. We're just saying that. Um, Ash, you're a Gary fan. Mm-hmm. Is it an act, do you think? Because I think we're seeing him a bit more playing to win now, aren't we? Um, you know, like, I, like for me, the whole time I was going, no, it's not an act, that is the way he is. He's 70, he's hard of ear, and he's had brain surgery, blah, blah, blah. But tonight, when I seen the show, it was like, he started talking about winning and people seeing like he was a threat for people mm. and that's why they were nominating him. And then I was going, no, stop talking about that, because now I feel like maybe it is an act. But 
I don't feel like it is entirely. He is 70, of course, he's hard of hearing, do you know what yeah. I mean? And he has had brain surgery. Like, he does have certain problems that people do need to be more patient with. But as for being an act, I'm kind of thinking, is it exaggerated, maybe, slightly? Maybe. Well, Joe, I'm going to be asking I him hope on not. Friday. <laughs> you know, I will. Uh, let's move on to Ricky. He received one nomination from Gary, who said he wasn't a team player at all. Uh, Amelia, is Ricky in there for himself, do you think? I don't know. I, I can't make my mind off about Ricky. I think um, it's obviously likes Lauren. <laughs> mm. uh, but then again, I don't know whether that he's just playing up to the camera. I don't think he likes him. No, I think he is playing up to the camera. You think he is? Yeah. Well, he fell yeah. out with Lauren because uh, she said he was being aggressive towards Gary. How do you think Ricky handled himself? Go on, Bo. Don't like him at all. I think he did have genuine feelings for Lauren, um, but now he is just completely over the top. It's perfectly clear she has no feelings for him whatsoever. But he wants to stand there and start criticising her behaviour. I'm not for her either, mm. but he can't criticise her behaviour when how he behaves. It's, it's just not fair. Is it Ricky, that will Ricky save fans? D. Paul, Paul. Ricky, ironically, will save D because um, they're all up. And Ricky and Lauren are probably the favourites to go, I would have thought. Mm. And probably it's Ricky's yeah. time is up. Well, talking of Licky, Ricky and Lauren, as he likes to call them on it, Licky. Uh, Lulu, don't be fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it the end of them? Yeah. I don't think that was ever a beginning. There was never a beginning. Boring. Boring. B-O-R-I-N-G. Boring. <laughs> and she's flown a long way just to say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, let's talk. George uh, Audley said he hasn't earned his stripes to be in the house. That's a bit shocker coming from Audley. Uh, Amelia, do you think that was a fair comment? I think that was really offensive. I, 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 like, who does he think he is saying that? I, w I wouldn't have appreciated that if I, you know, someone said that about me. And I think when George watches it back, he'll, he'll really feel hurt by mm. that, you know? Like, it was a bit out of nowhere, it. wasn't it? Yeah, I was just like, whoa. So, no, I did you agree think with the that. house underestimates him a bit? Yeah, I think George is underestimated massively in the house. He's really popular. He's one of, one of the favourites to yeah, win. Yeah. Um, and I think we're definitely going to see him in, in the top two. I hope, because I just said that. But, but I think gosh. they do... I, you know what, when you go in there, it's a level play. Everyone has been asked to go in that house because they have some kind of status to be there. So I think when you go in there, you're all level play and there's no kind of we hierarchy. We said it with they Stephanie need to the other night. That. Once the door's shut, it's a level yeah, playing field. Yeah, that's it. You're all in there. But talking Same. of Stephanie, George was quite quiet tonight, actually, wasn't he, in, in tonight's viewing. Yeah. Do you think now Stephanie's gone, George has maybe done all he can do in there? Um, I hope not because like I, I like George. I didn't like how he was with Stephanie because I just thought he was too like lovey dovey with her and I was just going, No, George, just be your own person. Don't like be pulled into that pair thing. Um so I'm hoping now that she's gone that he will be George and I hope that he's not gonna be quiet and down and that we barely see much of him now through the rest of the week. So um I hope he kinda comes back out, starts being himself more comes without back out having the show a bit. another half. George fans, we got any? Yeah. 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 Oh, you're George. nice and local. Go on, girl. <laughs> Love George, yeah. I think I think George was George when he went in and he'll be George to the end. Do you I think he's got a bit quieter since Stephanie's gone? No, I just think I think he's just he's just feeling different because she's not there. He's been used to the two of them. But no, well, he'll be I think she connected to him because he was a big character. He didn't take long to replace her, did he? Cozying no. up to Adele. <laughs> Adele. Oh, Adele. Adele. He's now with Adele, yeah. So He's a player, I think, too. Oh! Yeah. Bit of conflict. Uh, give yourselves a round of applause. That was nice. Uh, let's see how they've been getting on this morning. And they are still talking about last night's argument. Everyone fight. who's in here at the minute has had the same situation with Gary, where he's pushed them to a point that they've... That it can't, you, can't, you cannot be watching this show and not see that. Yeah. Like I yesterday. knew there was going to be times with when I was going to be wound up. I knew there was going to be times when I'd be upset, but I didn't think it would be the only times that I'd be wound up or upset. So when I came down from the diary room after looking after Dee, he was like, how is she? And I was like, well, she's extremely upset. Like, I didn't want to talk to him because I was looking after her, getting her a cup of tea and that. And then he's like, she is a nasty, evil something, something, something he was trying to tell me. And I was just like, 
I don't want to talk about it. I'm looking after Dee right now. I'm going to bring her a cup of tea. Just leave it alone. But, like, that's... That is quite a hatred, kind of ugly statement to make. Hmm. So I wonder, did he go up there telling the world how nasty and evil and awful she was? Well, I went up there and told how nice she is. Yeah. Because she is. Yes, she is. But, and I'm sure the public know that she's that nice, so if he says she's nasty, she's evil, she's this, maybe they'll go, OK, maybe there is something in what they're saying. Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh, stay tuned for some wham, bam, Dr Pam's in the building. Oh, yeah. Uh, plus, Jim Davidson will be telling us what it takes to be a winner. But now, the evictions are coming thick and fast, but who will be spared? It is all up to you at home. Uh, this Wednesday is a double bubble, and here are the numbers you need to save your fave. It's a double eviction. Audley, Dee, Adele, Gary, George, James, Lauren and Ricky all face the public vote. Who stays, you decide. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side where, like Audley, we always try and do good things. Do good things, guys! Yeah! Do good things. Yeah. yeah. Actually, why, why are we doing good things? Do you want an exclusive? Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, you have that. Let's just keep doing good things. Come on. Yes. You get plane spotters at the airport, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, they're all by the fences, aren't they? So what do they do? Try and spot every plane in the world? Pretty much. They know what, what plane it's coming in, how many passengers are on it. They work it all out, don't they? they... Okay. For what gain? I don't know. Couldn't think of anything more boring. The only thing I can think more boring is Adele. <laughs> 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 that is proper golf weather. Light breeze. Just coming off the left. Hit a little fade, use the wind. No! Fuck! <laughs> no! Trying, to, trying to be exciting again. <laughs> yeah, don't react to it. It's dripping down my butt cheeks. Is it? Yeah. Well, there's a memory for us all. Uh, listen, it is Monday night, which means we need a bit of class and expertise in here. And here to explain the celeb's behaviour, give it up for the fantastic, my friend, Dr. Pam Spark! <laughs> you look lovely. I've missed you. I've missed you too. I've really missed you. Uh, Pam, can you believe it's the final week? No, I, don't make me cry. How please. quick has this summer gone? <laughs> I can't quick. believe it. Uh, listen, let's start with a call centre task uh, at the weekend, which gave the housemates a chance to hear the public's perception of them. Uh, Pam, how do you think hearing what the public's perception is is, is going to change their behaviour in there? Well, the thing is, how you react to criticism is about how you get yourself validation. And if you depend on others to like you, and let's face it, celebrities, their oxygen is other people validating them. Mm. But, of course, it affects you and it's changed some of their behaviour. Who do you think been the most affected by it? Oh, definitely Ricky. I yes, mean, I thought Ricky. He was like a little... He'd been so overwhelmed by it. He went into sort of body language collapse. He was like a little rabbit caught in the headlight. He didn't know how to respond to his call. Yeah. And he went complete meltdown and pra practically crying about it. Do you think it shocked him? Oh, absolutely. And it just shows, it reveals how much of his self-validation he gets from other people. That it means at a little bit worrying, you know, extent that he needs other people to say, oh, pat you on the back and you're okay. Mm. That's what he was hoping for. But we also saw, of course, D went into, like, Shakespeare could have written that line, the lady doth protest too much yeah. about it. She was like, I don't care what they say. Then she was in the diary room talking about, oh, my clothes. In the garden, and, yeah, in the garden. It was like, it went on and on and on. So she obviously felt attacked, too. Well, two other housemates that were affected by it were uh, Adele and Audley. What did you make of them two jumping in the phone? Well, the thing is, you and I talked this summer about how the pool was kind of the safety zone. The pool is a free space. Exactly. So everybody feels yeah. free in there. And I've got to say, if they really wanted to rock our worlds by being less boring, I would have loved it if Adele had grabbed George and given him a great big snog. Mm. Because right now they kind of cuddle up to each other. But I, that would have really rocked my world. You reckon? Yes. Well, it, it seems uh, it ain't just them two who's behaving differently. There seems to be a few cracks appearing with some of the others. Uh, Ricky and Lauren clashed in tonight's episode. 
What's going on there? Well, the foundations for this clash had already been laid because of the mixed signals she gives. You know, when she drinks, she gets flirty, and then she's more just like a friend when she's not drinking. So Ricky, when he was like so hurt when she last night's program called him weak in front of the other housemates yeah. over his call center behavior, and then tonight she's sort of saying, you know, in tonight's show it was all about well, you shouldn't have been so aggressive to Gary. Now whether or not she's right, Ricky suddenly has seen her fall off the pedestal he had put her on. It's not good for any relationship to put each other on a pedestal and I think he's gonna have a new way of relating to her now. It's not just Ricky she's been having a Barney with. Joel, Jadel, what's going on there? Well as all the housemates like have pointed... Well I know and she and she even mentioned it herself about Adele when she when she nominated yeah. her. Um, so the thing is the housemates have all said it's the drinks. When Lauren drinks what we see is all the conflict she has inside of herself. She's incredibly yeah. vulnerable. I've got to say, in last night's show, when she was in the diary room, it was all about me, 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 me. And I was, would like to say to her, come on, my coaching couch, and do not have so much self-pity, because I think that's a real problem for her, a lot of self-pity. She, she wants to be a strong woman, and so she ends up but in But she's not letting herself be a strong no, woman. No, she's not. And so when, when she receives what George's saying about her boyfriend, you know, oh, you go for gangsters or whatever, yeah. stop the curb, the, the curb you're flirting, all that, she takes it as an attack. And when Adele, to be fair to me, Adele was just trying to be kind of... Yeah, Adele didn't say anything bad, this, did she? Yeah. She was just trying to keep the pace Yeah, more exactly. Than and, so, and she took that as an attack, so that just shows her vulnerabilities right now. Well, let's move on to Dee and Gary. They've had another row. It's not the first time <laughs> they've clashed, is it? Uh, what are you making of tonight's Barney? Well, the thing is, those two are always going to be on a collision course, and that's for, for a couple of reasons. First, they both have an authoritarian streak. That means they th see themselves as being right. She's the, the oldest woman in the house. He's the oldest guy in the yeah, house. Yeah, he's used to getting what he wants. Y she, when she, she was on her... Benefit Street, she was like the queen of the street. Exactly. So two authoritarian characters always being right, they're going to headbutt. But also, he does have this passive-aggressive streak. She's very down the line when she has conflict. She's really straight. She's one of the people in there who's playing the least amount of a game. Yeah. So it really winds her up when she sees Gary kind of gift-wrap these little emotional sort of hand grenades, give them to someone as a sort of passive aggressive way, turn conflict back onto that person. And she's found that very frustrating. Think it's, they're going to be all right the next few days? Well, you know, uh, they, they, yes. I mean, they, they've mended their ways for now, evidently. For now. And reading the website tonight. Um, but it's like, you know, they could clash they again. They could clash again. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Uh, it is back by popular demand. <laughs> I can't believe it. We are serving up a second helping of the cake of change is back. The cake of change. The cake of change. Who wants the cake? Uh, we love the cake. Right, talk to me about the cake. Remind me what it's about very quickly. OK, the first level, when you're aware, when you keep drop, you get, you're sort of landing in deep doo-doo because of your behaviour. Right. Next level is you accept that you are part of the problem. Third level is you, you start take taking action. action, you change your behaviour. Fourth level, adaptation. You start changing behaviour right across the board. So you've learnt from your bad behaviour. OK, well, let's start with number one, aware. Uh, who's at that level? James. Why? James is absolutely stuck. He's like an emotional porcupine. He's got a little soft underbelly that we all know he's got a soft side to him, and I would love to see it break free, but he uses his bristling, sort of aggressive nature to keep people at a distance, except for those that he trusts and he kind of brings into his little sort of arena. Okay. His URL is all about my family and friends. They are what count, and that means he's just not willing to change because he's shown no signs of it. So James is aware. Uh, who's at yeah. tier two acceptance? Well, that's Gary, because Gary... Gary is great at talking the talk. Oh, my God, didn't you love him in the counselling task? Um, I want to go and see <laughs> Gary. I want to write a guide with him. I, <laughs> I can do the sensible, you know, advice, and he can do the kind of universe, bring it in, and I want to love everything in the universe. Hold your heart. He can do that, and I can write the sensible stuff. The thing is, though, what it revealed about him was, look how he exploded when James didn't take him as seriously mm. as all the other housemates. They all kind of acted like it was a real counselling session. Yeah. It was fascinating to watch. And Gary lost not like, it, any, not like any counselling session I've ever seen, yeah. Who's at tier confused. three, taking action? That is oddly. He really has, from that first time he had a brow, what, even third night in? It was very early yeah, on. Yeah, He got night. very upset about James, you know, teasing him about the 69 seconds on the floor or whatever it was. 70, 72. <laughs> so, Pam's <laughs> got 69 <laughs> seconds on the brain. <laughs> And so, um, so since that time, he has worked so hard um, to actually try and learn about himself and, and take action and do better. And I think he's doing really well. Tier four, top of the cake. No one's got there yet, darling. 
No. <laughs> no. No one's <laughs> adapting. No one's adapting. No one who's, who's trying to change is, has managed that tier yet. Who would be your cherry on top of the cake? Oh, you'd be my cherry on the table, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you now, I am like a sight. I'm a sight now, <laughs> I'm are, telling you. you we should write a book. Uh, listen, finally. It is the last box on a Monday of the series, and um, I want your thanks. I was expecting that a bit earlier. Yeah. Praise. Praise. Um, I want your thoughts on the final week. Psychic Pammy has been so good this series, you've okay. just predicted everything. So what's going on this week? We are still going to see conflict with Gary. We are still going to see James bristling with that aggressive side to him. We still are going to see um, sort of conflicted behaviour between Lauren and Ricky now. Okay. And I think, you know, they almost ch sent a chance out the, uh, outside the house to have a little bit more of a depth to their relationship. But you right reckon? Now, it's all over the place. It's going to be all over the place for the next few days. Who's going to win, Pam? Oh, I don't know, but I have, like, three favourites. I'd be happy if either Gary, D or George won. Pam, <laughs> thank you so much. You've been amazing this summer. I love you. Give it up for Pam. Thank for... you. Thank you so much. Lovely to you. Lovely <laughs> Uh, still to come, I'm going to be dishing up even more exclusive for you. Uh, plus, Louisa is going to cast her eye over the eight-horse race as we enter the final week. Now, so as a former uh, champion myself, uh, I know exactly what it takes to win Celebrity Big Brother. Oh, oh, actually, they've asked Jim Davidson instead to give... Oh, here's what Jim had to say. Why have you asked Jim? <laughs> And now we enter the final act of the pantomime. <laughs> Alliances and oppositions now mean nothing. Each player stands alone. The battles they have fought have stripped them of their armor. There's nothing left but them. They have all fought the demons that dwell within. And they've all fought the monster that is fame. Jesters can become kings. Courtesans can become champions. The final prize is better than wealth. The people will crown the heroes in this story. And if they've learned anything, they will now know. If you can fake sincerity, you've got it made. Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side where during the break we've all been getting our lateral meniscus uh, willies out and mine, mine was the biggest, weren't it? it was... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, now listen, we are heading into the final furlong of our celeb series and as Gary said, it's become a bit of an eight horse race. So, Louisa is going to tell us who's on form and who could fall at the final hurdles. Give it up for Louisa. <laughs> Give me a bit of all that John McCreek. <laughs> What are you doing? You do a bit of rising, didn't you? Yeah, but not like that. Not like John McCrick. No, no that's like Gary when he's having a moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. Wait! Wait! Right, come then, what's going right, on? Right, so Dee, she has got off to a flying start. She's flying, she's going, but right. she's dropped off a bit, she's dropped off pace in the middle. Right. However, I do see her finishing strongly, so I'm going to put her here. She might not be able to make up the gap, but I think she's going to finish in the final three. You reckon? Yeah, I might. Do we agree? Uh, no. You don't agree? No. Oh, you don't know anything. Right. <laughs> um, now, James, I don't like him, do I? No, I know you're not a fan of James. He is a penis. No. Louisa. A.K.A. cock. Yeah. 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 Perhaps, yeah. perhaps yeah. some would say a bellend. But um, I think he has played a good game. He's, he's had a good great game. He's still there. He's, he's doing good. He keeps being saved. But we are going to see him... Fall off. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, James. Um, now, Adele, interesting. She is like a shire horse. Steady, 
No, it's not a pig. <laughs> no, that's a pig noise. So What's a shire hog? Sh it's like those big ones. You see them pulling the carts. Safe, reliable. Secure, reliable and okay. steady. She's had a good pace. She's not going to win, but she has put in a solid performance. And All I right. like her. Well done, Adele. Who's next? Ricky? Next, I'm pairing Lauren and Ricky together. Oh, I'll help you then. Yeah, you can help me. Right, we're a pair. No! Uh-oh. Oh, no. We're lame. We're shit. We're not putting in a good performance. What do you mean they're lame? No. They're lame. Here comes, got a bad leg. here comes Lauren and Ricky. Come on, Rylan. Here comes Lauren and Ricky. Oh, oh, off to the glue factory. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but you are horse meat. Oh. Um, next up, Audley. Good start. He's a popular horse, right? He's a popular horse. Right. He is starting to tire. Oh, he's a stallion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're getting excited. <laughs> he has got size 17 feet, actually. He probably would be a stallion if he was a horse. Yeah. So he had a good start, but he's starting to tire out a bit now. Right. So I think I'm going to put him finishing ahead of Adele. Nay. But he's not going to win. I like the noises you make. He's not going to win. Okay, okay, next up, George. George. Early favourite. <laughs> now... George reminds me of a little Shetland pony in the Grand National. Like, <laughs> that's George. He's Why? got little legs that are going really fast, and he's doing really well. And he's, so he's just doing super well. cute. He's doing really well, and he's really coming to pull through at the end. And I'm going to oh, put okay. him. Oh, okay. So he's I'm going to place him on the finishing line, actually. Oh, okay. He's on the finishing potential line. Potential winner. Potential winner. I do think he's a potential winner. Let's move on to Gary, last one. Right, Gary, he's a bit like Seabiscuit. What? An unfancied horse at the start. However, he is proving everybody wrong. And he is just flying up the track. He is, he's his he favourite really at the is. Minute, He's completely he? flying. He's stayed the course, and I'm going to put him finishing with George, a photo finish. I think it's going to be between these two. That was quite Very good. Close. Well done, mate. Well done. I'd go as far as saying that... Um, that was amazing. Did you get it? <laughs> OK. Uh, I think it's time for an exclusive. Do you want one? Yeah! Yes! Yeah, yeah Gary. Okay, Do you want to put it on your table? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry, Gary. You're what? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. You shouted. I'm... I'm, so, I'm just sorry, OK? Thanks, Drink your coffee. OK. Mm. It's not in my genes yeah. not to help someone or not yeah. to... Do you know what I'm saying? Right, but you need to leave the others, though, because, you know, now it's going to be like anarchy is going to happen now with everyone against him. Mm. So, but I you can't need... do that. It's not in my blood. But Dad would be so disappointed I know. if uh -huh. I, like... Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a helper, helper. Right. You, let it, you, let it up. you let it bottle up. You let it bottle up. It bottled up and it got the better of you. And that's why I was trying to joke with you all the time no, so know, it didn't babes. blow up. I know, I know, I know. I didn't want it to go over there because, you know, the only person you're going to look, look good is you. And that's you not know? me, Audley. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's I'm the better person now. Yeah. So, fuck it. I hope I'm going to make him a drink and say yeah. sorry because... Yeah. That makes my conscience feel a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like... Make the adjustment and then just move on. <laughs> Couple of regrets there, G. All uh, right, it's time to look at the rest of the housemates that are up for eviction, or as we like to call it, hot noms part deux. Did you get it? Hot... <laughs> Frenchie would have got that one. Uh, let's start with Audley. He received the most nominations with four. Uh, Louisa, did that shock you that he got the most this week? No, I think I really like Audley, but I think he's been rubbing a few people up the wrong way, which obviously showed in nominations. Mm. So not shot, but I don't think he'll go. You don't? I'm pretty sure that he won't go. I think we can lose a few others first. Ricky said that he was boring, Ashley. Do you think that's a fair statement, or do you think that's a bit no. out of order? Who's Ricky? <laughs> <laughs> so, for him to call Ashley. anyone... <laughs> for him to call anyone boring, I think, I was just gobsmacked watching the TV when he was nominating oddly. Um, Ricky just can't call anyone boring um, without just asking for hate, do you know what I mean? Because, let's be honest, nobody even remembers he's on that show unless he's 
being a part of Lecky, right? And no, it's not fair that he called Audley boring because, um, like, if Audley wants to go to bed early, like, it's not the Geordie Shore cast that's on Big Brothers. Not everybody's there to party all night and drink all night, so no, mm. it's not fair. Well, what do you lot think? I love Audley. Audley on, Lynn. Right. He's so easy on the eyes, he's got integrity, <laughs> and he could clock anybody in a second. You know what I mean? He could, like, punch somebody, but he does it. That's so hot. I am sexually attracted to you. I know. <laughs> and me, you. I really am. I love you and Audley. Three. Oh! <laughs> 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 um, Adele nominated, uh, received one nomination from Lauren because she said they haven't quite bonded. Louisa, do they need to stick together? They're the last two girls in there apart from Dee. Yeah, no, I don't think they need to stick. Poor Dee. We love Dee. Dee's mama Dee. <laughs> She's also a girl. Um, you know what I mean. I think that um, they. They don't need to stick together. They sort of have a weird friendship, because sometimes they seem quite close and other times they don't at all. Um, but no, I don't really like Lauren. No? She doesn't float my boat at no, all. She never she has. Not There's just boat. something about her that I really don't like and I don't know what it is. Well, in last night's show, uh, Adele said that she feels like she's starting all over again. Do you want to see a new feisty Adele, Amelia? You can't change who you are, no. you know? like. The, f the fact that she went into the pool fully clothed, I mean, that, that was hilarious. I've got to give it to her, but, you know, she's making Do you know what I've got to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say it. I was like, go on, Adele, go on, Adele, and she sort of went, yeah, I'm really wild, and then just walked in. I know, I saw <laughs> gracefully. <laughs> and a casual stroll down. I was like, jump in, Adele. So, yeah, so <laughs> gracefully, just walking in. She's um, done it all right. But I really like her, you know? Yeah, I she's, think she's come across yeah. really yeah. well. Why change? She's just think? normal, isn't she? She's like yeah, a she's just, just normal. She can't change someone that's quiet and nice. She's not going to suddenly think, get up and... Yeah. Well, I think she's got a different... She, inside of her, she's wild, but she doesn't know how to bring it out. Especially amongst all the yeah, characters. Yeah, I think if she's around her friends, I think she's the crazy one because I've seen her on different shows and I think she's a bit crazy. Well, we all thought she was going to be a bitch yeah. after watching Big Reunion, exactly. didn't we? She's got like a lot to say. She's got an attitude. Yeah. But I think a lot of big she's characters. She's just been swallowed up in yeah, there. Yeah, and, and she's going she's through a really bad, bad, you know, separation. Yeah, she's going through a bad part of Yeah, so I think that's really making her feel a bit down. Adele, do what you want. Just enjoy yeah. yourself, girl. You're in Big Bravo. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, let's move on to James. He received three nominations. Gary said he doesn't listen when others talk and he wants to be the top dog. Lulu, is that a fair comment from Gary? I hate James. No. I don't. I want. I want James. I'm meant to be impartial. I'm not going to be impartial right now. I want James to go on Wednesday. I don't want anyone to say James. And I want to face him on this show James, on Wednesday night. James gets a bad <laughs> rap on this show, all right? And I'm not going to sit here and defend him. But how good is he as a housemate? He. Uh, I have to say, I don't like the guy. I think he's a complete tool. He has been <laughs> one of the best housemates. He has. Yeah. This year. Yeah. Who likes James? Go on. James is my absolute favourite housemate. He says exactly what I think. I'm sorry I'm prepared to take a lynch in. I love Louisa, but at the same time, I, I, I absolutely You have to like James. me more than James, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do, but I love James. I love watching him. He says exactly what I he's think. He's brilliant Well, do you know what? He's split opinion, and that's what good housemates do. Uh, he is a big character. How would you have coped with him in the house, Ashley? Mm, I wouldn't. I can't stand him. I think he's he would have been a part of my diary room rants as one of the assholes. Um, he's I can't bear to listen to him. Now he there was a few nights this week where I thought like he like the way he was speaking to Gary, he started to come round and I actually kind of liked him for he maybe two moments. minutes. Yeah. And then tonight again I watched it and yeah, I just he's thought only an those again. because it's the final week. The public yeah. Yeah. Oh, cannot be British stupid enough are to, to get him so to win. <laughs> You, got, like, you can't all be that stupid when he has these nice moments. Oh, it's the final week. He's suddenly really... Can you turn around? He said he wanted to, to change his reasons for nominating Lauren. Do you think he should have stuck to his guns, Amelia? I don't know. I mean, I, I think Lauren, Lauren's saying quite a few things when she's drunk, what she's actually mm. forgetting that she's saying and she's not actually meaning, but you can't take back what you've said, so... I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of James. I think he likes to get involved with too many arguments. Mm. Um, but he does say what everyone else thinks. So. It is true. I suppose yeah. he is saying so. I don't be thinking what he says. Oh, I'm not James! <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, he was the only person who nominated Lauren. He said she's nice until she's had a drink. Mm -hmm. I think we all kind of agree. Uh, 
Actually, do you think that's a fair comment? Is she really to a totally different person when she's had a drink? Yeah, because I feel like I haven't seen much of her whenever she's sober. Um, the only time I ever really see her is when she's with Ricky, whenever we're trying to see if there's something happening. Mm. Then whenever she's drunk, she's all like mouth and claiming mm. that she's better and has so much more to lose than everybody else. One, which... thing, one thing she said the other night, which I think has got a few people rubbed up the wrong way, she compared her media presence to George's, yeah. saying that she's got the most to lose. Lulu? I think she does... Like, obviously, the girl does have a bigger media presence than George. Yeah, I'm that's not going to dispute that. Um, but I don't really think she's got much to lose. She did that sex tape. She lost it all after that, really, didn't she? You reckon? <laughs> she's already down there. Like, they can't make Could anyone else worse. understand her logic, though, with what she was saying? Yeah. That, you know, I am in the media. They do slag me off more than everyone else. She's because she gives the media everything that they want. So therefore, it's their own actions. Take accountability and responsibility for your actions, love. That's why you've got more to lose, because of how promiscuous and God alone knows what else you are. It's going to creep down here. But, no, give her a cue. Give her a cue. She seemed to be one of the few people that looked out for Gary tonight. Do you think? And she even had a bit of a Barney at Rick here about he was coming across aggressive. Go on. I think she's actually got a kind streak in her. Yeah. I mean, she was the only one that looked up for Gary. And let's face it, when we've had a drink, we all do things we shouldn't. Yes. Well, what do you do? Flash. <laughs> 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 oh, hey. do you think she had a point, though? Um, not really, because like, I can't actually believe I'm defending Ricky, but, like, he wasn't actually aggressive towards Gary. He was kind of just stating a point, and then yeah. I think Lauren maybe sees it now coming to the final and is like, oh, let's... Because she knows probably Gary as a favourite, and she's trying, oh, don't be aggressive, Ricky. She said it to Ricky because she knows mm. Ricky's not really going to lose his rag with her. Um, she wouldn't have said it to anyone else, and it was just a stupid point because he wasn't being aggressive, so I think it was just stupid. Amelia, do you think it's going to get a bit awk sitch between... Between Lauren and Ricky. Yeah, I just there's nothing there. She doesn't like him. No. Stop, stop, stop playing him when you're drunk. It's not I fair on the poor lad. Until Wednesday and Friday when we get the talk time. <laughs> uh, give him a round of applause. That was lovely. Thank you. Still to come. Get the tissues at the ready because the housemates have got their letters from home. Oh. Are you after this? Got. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. The show that's not afraid to walk into the kitchen of chat and pull down the trousers of debate, are we? We're not afraid. Wipe it out is the news. <laughs> At 2.02 this afternoon, the Brad Pitt of dancing was having an issue with being called the Brad Pitt of dancing. What is what that Brad Pitt you? thing? Look, apparently I said... said when did I ever say that? You said I'm the Brad Pitt of dancing. When did I ever say that? I don't know. We no, were all standing at the front. No, no, yes. no. They said I said it at some point. Didn't they? Yeah, yeah. That's why they announced it as well. Brad really? really? Pitt of dancing. When would I have said that? I think you said a few nights really not really. like me. You fuck off. Because yeah. <laughs> I remember one time on Strictly, uh, one of the professional dancers said, um, I'm like the Robbie Williams of the dance world. And all of us went, what a wanker! <laughs> like that. So I know you don't <laughs> say shit like that because they put it out there. So yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah, true say, James. True say, James. Do you know what? You should always be careful what you say. And uh, for those of you who've forgotten, here's that moment again! <laughs> It's just, I've been doing this 44 years. I know you have. I've been dancing 26. Well, we don't have the same gig. I'm in a big movie. The difference is in the dance world, I'm like the Brad Pitt. The difference is in the dance world, I'm like the Brad Pitt. The difference is in the dance world, I'm like the Brad Pitt. Oh! Unlucky, babe. We've got you there. Uh, two, <laughs> I'm like the Brad Pitt. Uh, 2.40 this afternoon, Big Brother assembled the housemates on the sofa and brought on the annual tear fest. That is letters from home. And here is Gary deciding who gets their letter. Gary, your decision is between D and Audley. Oh boy. I think Audley. All his family's in uh, Los Angeles. Oh boy, I'm sorry. That's that's what my knowledge is. Farther away. Audley, your decision is between Ricky, Lauren, or James. I'm going to pick um, James. 
I think um, Ricky and Lawrence, um, <coughs> I think, you know, I think James has a significant other in his life, uh, like myself. So I think, you know, the letter would be probably more appreciative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. From James. Thank Thank man. Definitely. Well, I can tell you it is a totally emo Chanel. Uh, find out who else got their letters on the main show tomorrow night. And finally, at 3.10 this afternoon, a decidedly weary Gary was chatting to the only person in the house who truly understands him, himself. Yay, here I am. Another day in a beautiful place called Evolution, Relevation, and revealment of myself to myself in a great way. Yeah. Thanks to Britain, thanks to the British public for having this country and this show. I've been here before, quite possibly many times. And the lives you have on Earth in different, in different eras you have no idea when you're going to be coming back to visit a new era in the country where before you were in an older era. Thank you. No, 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 do you know what? I get it. I get it. You know, people often say that I talk to myself. Oh, but I've been assured that there are at least 500 people that watch this show, so that's all right. And that's today's news. <laughs> See what's happening up in the reality gallery. Loisa, I'll give you some goss. Hello, I've got lots of goss Go for you, on. actually. Dee's read out Gary's letter from his son, who asked Gary when he's coming home, and he also said how much he misses playing Tickle and Giggle. So cute. Um, and then later on, Gary took some time out in the garden and uh, had a little play with his belly button. Oh, Unfortunately, so nobody nice. saw. Um, James had a very teary moment when Ricky read out his letter. Um, James's wife said, thank you for being the fun, mischievous schoolboy that you are at home. Oh, that is quite I'm cute. I'm not sure what show she's been watching because he's been a complete bellend. But, oh, you know, no, that's the people husband. that love you always see the best in you. Hi, Mum. Um, Dee's taught Lauren how to roll a cigarette earlier. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Good yeah. for Lauren to know Last that. one. Uh, last one. The housemates have been asking Big Brother for alcohol and are very upset and disappointed that there isn't any in the store. Anymore. Well, it serves them right because they've drunk it all. Give it up for Louisa, guys. Oh. Thanks, Lulu. <laughs> all right, let's get digital. Let's do it. Ashley and Amelia Lilly off their telly. Uh, right, what's going down, show? Well, you know, Rylan, in the digital world, I'm like the Brad Pitt. OK. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> the phone room is back again tomorrow night. <laughs> I love you, Sue. We love you. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> if you want to speak to Emma about anything and everything CBB related, yep. uh, give us a call on the number on screen and leave us a Sh message. It should be there somewhere there. It will be down there. Uh, if you like what we hear, we'll call you back. And it's as simple as that. It's that simple. It's that simple. So ring Emma, all right? Uh, what tweets we got, Ash? We've got some good ones. Um, we've got Lucas. Um, Ricky needs to go before Friday because he serves no purpose whatsoever and has proved he's nothing without a script. The producers deserve their fee back. Oh! Media. Uh, this is off Claire. James shouldn't make the final. He's a smarmy, self-obsessed tosser who is an eagle bigger than Kanye West. Oh, what? my God. That's, that's big. Hard. That's, that's I've hard. got time for one more. Um, Edel to one. D definitely. I wonder if she wants to win. <laughs> D definitely shouldn't be there. She's friendly to someone to their face one minute, then the next minute she's rude, shouty, manipulative, and is game playing behind people's backs. Give it up for these guys. Come on. Thank you. Uh, that is your lot for tonight. A massive thank you to all of my guests. Emma's back tomorrow with Gabrielle, Leslie Joseph, and Jane McDonald. I am jealous and having a row up the top. Night night. Yeah!